Good base. Bonjour. Ah! Are you a doctor? Mais oui. I am the Marquis de Saint. That's a doctor. Court physician to King Louis himself. And who might you be? Guy Rush Threepwood, mighty pirate. It looks like a lawyer mime. Your aunt. Yeah, I seem to have come down with something. This is fantastic. Can you help me, Doctor we Man? We must investigate at once. Yay! We're getting medical mm. treatment for our poor hand. And you say your sick little hand has a mind of its own? Maybe? Yeah, it keeps hitting people, making rude gestures, doing all sorts of stuff I'd never do. Well, not without a really good reason, anyway. Yeah. Fascinating. So, can you fix it? Monsieur Sweepwood, you have my word as a former physician of the court of King Louis that by the time you leave here, your misanthropic hand will never trouble you again. Oh, good. Well, that's reassuring and not at all phrased in a creepy way. A friend of mine says that my hand is cursed with a voodoo pox that can only be cleared up with a magical sponge. <laughs> voodoo? <laughs> voodoo is nothing but unenlightened baby jabber for the ignorant and superstitious masses. The only path to true knowledge is via a rigorous scientific inquiry, preferably conducted by a suitably aristocratic mind. So my pox... ...is nothing more than a disease. A disease we will cure with science! I happen to like science, but coming from you, I'll take voodoo. Scientifically speaking, what do you think is the cause of these crazy winds swirling around Flotsam? Ah, yes, the winds. Personally, I'm convinced that they are a rare but perfectly natural meteorological phenomenon caused by a Lagrange inversion of the atmospheric humors in the upper troposphere. Lagrange? Causing a scouter uh -oh. cyclonic... Yeah, uh... Forget I asked. So Mr. Chrissy how did Pants. a dazzling urbanite like yourself wind up in a sleepy pirate island like Flotsam? Ah, mon ami, that is a tale of triumph <gasps> and tragedy. Many years ago, I was a young physician in the court of King Louis. Those were eighty days, tending to the many ills of the aristocracy, navigating scandalous palace entries. I was a rising star in the scientific firmament. And then? I mean, then? A conspiracy of jealous scientists accused me of performing inhuman cross-breeding experiments with the Queen's pudel! Uh, I don't even want to know what he was doing. The king was outraged and ordered me exiled on this deserted tropical island. Deserted? Not one in the game. I'm then talking you to my the cat. First? Oui. Happily, my solitude was short-lived, as the merry winds of Flotsam have conspired to bring me many new pirate patients over the years. All right. Incroyable. So, Doc, what's the verdict? Ah, oh, Monsieur, you are a very lucky man. I am. Ah, oui. The disease spreading through your saucy little parrot hand is like nothing I've ever seen before. That doesn't sound very lucky. In fact, somewhere in that easing appendage may lie the secret to life itself. It may? Hey, nice going, Han. I'll know more after I cut it off. Ah! Hey, no! 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 This is not the legend of Saw Island. Monsieur Sweepwood. The only cure for a hand that infected is a quick, clean amputation. Amputation? Amputation. Isn't that a little rash? No, it's a very big rash, which is why we'll have to amputate. But not to worry, monsieur. Your hand won't feel a thing thanks to my specially concocted rogue anesthetic. Ow! Now, if you'll just relax here a few minutes, I'll be in the back sharpening my petit guillotine blade. <laughs> We don't want to cut off our hand with a dual blade now, do we? No. Well, I guess you have a point there. You know, if I gotta lose my hand, I think I'd want to lose it to a sharp blade. What a loon. At least my hand seems under control oh, for a while. Oh, God, imagine... I better figure out a way out of this tastefully appointed abattoir before the Marquis de Crazy Pants comes yeah, back. Yeah, just imagine it. Imagine if they had to just keep whacking at your hand. Ooh, is that a key? It's a key. I can't reach it from this position. A and D and W and S. Feats don't fail me now. Score one for the pirate with the pointy feet. Okay, I, I got a key. I don't think I can unlock that. Monkey? I can't reach him from here.
if this works, or I'm about to throw away a perfectly good key. That poor monkey. What are you gonna experiment it on? Shock! Bad monkey! After I take care of Monsieur Sweepwood, it's back in the box for you! Listen, monkey, if you and I work together, we can both bust out of this joint. What do you say? Are you with me? You know, because I've played this That's game, I forget, symbol for yes. forget to do little things like look at the monkey. Come on, Jacques. Help a guy out. Wonderful. It's a cute little baby bell. I can't reach Vicious. it from this position. Hmm, a stack of pictures. It's a strange drawing of the inside of my hand. I call it La Desangeograph. I call it creepy. Desangeograph. Okay, ring bell. Monkey changes picture. Alright, let's see what these foot pedals do. This looks like it might do something interesting. All it does is shock the monkey. Ouch! That looked unpleasant. What's this one do? Let's see what this does. Bananas from heaven! Thanks, banana god! Wait, what's he doing? Uh oh, he's jumping over to that machine. I forgot what this one does. Oops! Oh yeah, it shocks him. That's not pleasant. Sorry! The monkey knocked over that picture of my hand, but I can't reach it from here. Alright, feet. Make yourselves useful. Alright! A gross picture of my grosser hand. Things are looking up. I can't reach it from this position. I don't think I want to drop this there. I don't Wait. think I want to drop this there. Oh. Duh. Whoops. I meant to do that. Ding. Change the slide, monkey. Go to the skeleton hand, monkey. Shock the monkey. You know you gotta shock the monkey. You can't beat the game without it. Wow, an electromagnetic monkey! I had a dream like that once. Only it was an iguana, not a monkey. And instead of a key, it was an ice cream cone. Plus, I was in my underwear. For We've all had that dream, Guybrush. <laughs> wow, he seems excited about something. It's a cute little bell that makes the monkey play with that picture machine over there. Wait a sec. Is he in this? Banana? That's it. Come on, you magnificent magnetic monkey. Gotcha! Now, to work the key into the lock. Okay, the lock was in the center of his chest. Ta-da! Monsieur Sweepwood, what do you think you're doing? Get back on the table at once. Sorry, Doc, but I think I should get a second opinion. 
Thanks for numbing up my hand, though. All that flailing and slapping was getting on my nerves. Wait! Uh-oh. Yeah, he likes it. That's just creepy. Wait! Stop! I must have your beautiful justifying hand! Come back! Slovenly parrots! Leaving their trash floating all over the place! Uh, hmm. Oh. Parrot hunter, eh? Morgan LaFlay. I think this is going to come up again. I really do. Alright, well, we broke all his unicorns. Oops. Look, a three headed monkey! Hey, keep your grubby mitts off me, bottle breaker! Aww, now we have to do it again. Would you look at that? It's almost as if I paused the recording and came to my boat. Would you look at that? Not again! Uh oh. Poor guy. Him and his unicorns just can't get a break. Yoink. Yoink. It's amazing how many of life's problems are solved by indiscriminate cannon fire. Oh, no kidding, Guybrush. No kidding, indeed. Baba. That can't Maybe be safe. Here I come. That cannot be safe exploding well, bottles. Maybe not. Oh, it's blank. I'm gonna kill me a voodoo lady. Stupid voodoo lady. I'm gonna go on a oh hello, who are you? You're a crusty pirate. Hello, Mr. Hey crusty. There. I'm Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. And you are? It's Hemlock. Hemlock McGee. Hey, you? Hmm? I'm beat old Hemlock alone with his grog and his tattered dreams. Okay. What the heck happened to your legs? You mean, <laughs> aside from some Egypt, <laughs> getting a poor old pirate involved in a deadly bar fight? <laughs> yeah, besides that. Um, yeah. Four words. The Marquis de Singe. Ugh. The Marquis de Singe cut off your leg? He seems a bit I amputation happy. Well, only once, of course. He cut off the horse leg seven years ago, after I stubbed me toe while investigating the wings of the pirate. Yikes! <laughs> seems kind of severe. I sometimes I think that Ponzi Dick has it in no, for me! You were investigating the wings of Blotsam Island? I... I betrayed the Suzuki Zany Zephyr since I... <laughs> washed up here. I even found an ancient scroll that promised to lead me to all the answers! No! I... But I couldn't figure it out! I got so frustrated that I kicked one of those statues out in the jungle and stubbed me toe! When I went to that butcher they saw it, he cut me right off! Uh, who goes to the doctor for a stub toe? Without two good legs, I couldn't explore anymore! So I limped into Club 41 and started up a long-term relationship with a keg of grog. Why aren't you in Club 41, curled up with your grog? Because the two-time and cannon clubbers kicked me out! Why? The club has a strict no feet, no service clause! That's like about an insult to injury. You know, even aside from the legs, you're looking a little green at the gills. I think you should mind your own feet like you're living in a top sucker! Yikes! <laughs> Whoa, what was that? What was what? Did I see your ancient scroll? Rain not, Skippy! Some two big quick stolen from me in the poker game a few months ago! Oh, do I regard you without my eye of the manatee, though? Eye of the manatee? Hmm, can I borrow it? Now, why in the name of Neptune's headmails would I let you borrow this priceless artifact of a long dead civilization? Is this what's in the cereal prize? If the Singe does have it in for you, I might be able to use it to read some sort of piratey revenge on him. Mmm, fine. Can't use it anymore, anyhow. Thanks, Hemlock. I promise you probably won't regret this. Alright. He probably won't regret this. Alright. Let's look at our freaking blank map. Mm, this looks promising. Oh god, more following the noises. Great. You know what? This calls for a break. I'll be back later. I'm very brain tired.